Hi, my name's Stuart Walker from RMS and I'm here today with my colleague Keith who's also from RMS. We've brought today some amazing new camera technology and in the last 20 years I've never seen anything like this. It's a revolutionary way of visualising vibration problems. Now it's called motion amplification. Keith, can you tell us a bit more about it? Yeah, so Stuart, motion amplification is a new way of visualizing vibration yeah. that we've never seen before. Yeah. So whereas we may have put one or two sensors on a machine in the past, yeah. now we can put over two million. Two million? So is it, how does it do that? Is that the pixels or something? Yeah, that's right. So we've got a, a, a 2.3 megapixel camera yeah. and each one of those pixels has been turned into a sensor in itself able to read the uh, displacement frequencies. On the that is amazing. And, and uh, what sort of applications would we use this on then? Well, it has a real wide uh, variety of applications we can use it on. It's got yeah. a good scope for things like rotating assets, yeah. structures, pipe work, yeah. um, structures related to rotating assets, yeah. and also we've got a new, a new area of processes. Oh, right. So okay. we can start looking in areas with vibration. We may so have uh, rolls and stuff like that on a steel mill? or Absolutely, yeah. So quality issues on rolling mills. Right. And what sort of a range with this camera do we have to be really close? Or could, could I shoot a machine quite far away? What? Well, it, it really depends on what lens we've got on there. Oh, so, right. So we've got different lenses. That's right, yeah. So we've got uh, close-up lenses with a wide angle. And the one we've got on there is a telephoto. Yeah. So we can get uh, distant shots. Right. And in terms of capturing the data, uh, is that quite straightforward? Does it take a long time to take a reading or, uh, sorry, a video? No, no well, that, yeah, uh, it's a new way of thinking, isn't it? Right? Yeah. It's a video now. Yeah. Uh, it's a very quick way of, of uh, gathering the information on the machine. Yeah. Some videos could be 10 seconds. Yeah. Uh, you might want to take a run up a bit longer, maybe yeah. 30 minutes, that's possible as well. Wow. But it really brings down the data collection time as well. Right. I think for me, I, uh, this is a totally new technology and I've seen a few videos and it's blown me away, but I think for me the, the big point with this is it's so visual, isn't it? And we're looking at machines in ways we've never done before. And before we, we're using, we get a, a few readings on a machine, 10 millimetres per second there, 20 there. But, but this shows it actually how it's moving, doesn't it? And I think that's the key point with uh, with this technology. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. It's it's similar to comparable to ODS. Right. Where in the past we might have not even considered ODS on a machine, but it yeah. would have been lovely to see yeah. what that uh, machine's motion what looks it's moving like. like. Yeah. Well, now this gives us that ability to visualise the machine's motion, much like ODS. Yeah. The other thing then, can, can we get a, an actual reading, a, a, a spectrum of it, or like an actual frequency plot? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So uh, with the right conditions, with a good straight edge, we can yeah. get a very good, accurate reading of the displacement things. I mean, that's unbelievable. That's using those pixels, is it? And, and that's how it's doing the spectrum. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Which is just unbelievable when you it's off a video yeah. and it's, it's accurate is it as well it's extremely accurate yeah wow it's it's, uh, com it's very it's comparable to traditional transducer wow well thanks for that keith um keith's actually got a job now uh, out on plan he's going to use the motion amplification system uh, and what i'm going to do i'm going to catch up with him later to see how he's got on